But first tonight, a little girl left paralyzed in a deadly DUI crash in Davidson County last year has died. The family of five year old Gracie Lankford says she died this week. Police say her mom was high on methadone at the time of the crash, killing another child last year. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake talked to Gracie's father, who is understandably distraught. Julie, it was such a heartbreaking phone call today. Obviously, Mark Lankford is upset over the death of his daughter, but you could really feel the pain in his voice when he was speaking. He told me specifically, I lost my baby. Amber Whitaker was found guilty of felony serious injury by vehicle and second degree murder in the death of the eight year old. She will serve a maximum of 19 years behind bars. Here's what led up to this sentencing. Officers said Amber Whitaker failed to stop at a stop sign held by a transportation worker back in June of 2022. She ended up crashing into the back of a transportation truck. An eight year old girl died in the crash while Gracie Lankford's injuries left her paralyzed. According to police, Whitaker admitted to taking 200 milligrams of methadone, had a slow and slurred speech, and was nodding off during questioning. They also found Xanax in her car. Four children, all under the age of 16, were in the car. Two were Whitakers, one of which was Gracie Lankford. Last year after the crash, we spoke with Gracie's half-sister while Gracie was still in the hospital. She says Gracie was a fun person with a fun spirit. This is what she had to say after Gracie and Katie's other younger sister was able to see her in the hospital for the first time since the crash. She finally got to see her best friend, Gracie. And Gracie was in her little chair. They hugged. She got to see her at the other hospital right after her surgery. My three-year-old baby sibling who has so many dreams is fighting for her life because her mother. I reached out to the Davidson County Clerk of Courts today who told me that there are no pending charges against Whitaker at this time. It would be up to the district attorney whether more charges will be brought in the recent death of Gracie Lankford. Funeral arrangements are being made for Gracie.